Come back. Come back. Good morning, people. Welcome to the Phoenician Golf Club here in Scottsdale, Arizona. This morning, I'm with the super talented, one of our good friends, Tanya Tare. It's about 6.15 a.m. local time. We're on hole 17, par three. Our goal today, hit a hole in one. Here's the catch. We can hit as many shots as we want, but our time runs out when the first group of golfers get here. First tee time going out at 6.30, it's a foursome. When they get here, we're done. We got Doug out on the course, he's on radio, he's our scout, he's our eyes and ears on that lead group. And listen, getting a hole in one is like the hardest thing in the world. So it's not the end of the world if we don't hit one because there's a three foot circle up there around the cup. Whoever gets the most balls inside that circle wins what's inside that glass case. It's the Phoenician five diamond package. I'll tell you more about it later, but that group's getting ready to tee off. Let's get it done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is ace race. Come on. Oh, ace race. Nice. <laughs> Our foursome has arrived. First group of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beautiful Phoenician Resort in Scottsdale, Arizona. Our boys are getting loose. They got a little swing lube. We are, are definitely anticipating breakfast balls today. Boys, Bloody Marys are flowing, cigars are lit, and everybody's in the fairway. We're off the first tee. Tony, you take honors. Our job could be done right here. That's gonna be a bit short. Still short? They're gonna be short to start with. Low-key hate being short because it's just like, it's a waste of a shot. Let's get an ace and go to the bar. God damn I am not loose yet. Oh, go in. Still short? Oh, I might go up a bit. That could be good. Oh. Whoa. Okay, back down. Takes you a little bit of time to warm up when you get to the golf course at freaking 5 a.m. <laughs> I mean, you know why we're doing this, right? I mean, the Phoenician's one of the busiest golf courses in Scottsdale. Like, we can't clog up the tee sheet, rent out the course. We're out here early, ahead of play, not interfering. That's golf etiquette. Ah, it's gonna be right. Now work. Oh man, I thought that was pin high. Come on, girl. Let's get one in the Phoenician five diamond circle. Really nice shot. You are probably two feet from the circle. Ooh, you're getting dialed. Work into the hole from there. Two more yards about it in the hole. <laughs> Woo! Doug, so tell me about these guys. Are they any good? We look like we got some players. Most of the balls have been in the fairway. Approach shots have been decent. They've got the Bloody Marys and the cigars flowing. So all the game enhancement things are in play. So uh, they're looking good right now, making decent time. Just getting warmed up. Oh, that looks good. Get the right bounce. Coming back towards the oh. left. You're right on the edge of the circle. Let's go. How many hole ones do you have, T? I have one. <laughs> one hole in one. Okay, same here. Me too. Be absolutely breaking the odds right now. Yeah. Just run. Just barely outside the circle. We just officially hit the one hour mark, and our group is on the fifth green. Oh shit! I'm moving fast. The lead group is already an hour into their round, and I'm not even through a full box of balls yet. The lead group has hit more shots than you already. There it is. That looks good. What? I'm dialed, baby. Let's go. Go in. What's that? That's the exact same as the other one, about 10 feet. This goes to show how many times on a part three you think you stuck into walking up for a tap in birdie, and that ain't true. Do I have home update? Yeah, we were out of radio range here for a little bit, but we're they're just finished six, just getting ready to tee up on seven. We're an hour, 16 minutes in. Tell me what the thoughts were going to sleep last night. I think I felt like I would have had more time. All right, let's fire. God damn it. Damn it. Oh my God. Oh. Ah. Oh my gosh. So how would you describe ace race right now, Tanya? Stressful. Real fucking fun. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? That is why I don't play on the LPGA. 
It's much harder than you think. Oh. I will say this is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be because like the wind keeps changing. Oh no! I feel like both of us are kind of in between clubs. Oh my God! And we've also had some terrible shots. <laughs> so also some good ones. We gotta mix it up. Is there like a New Zealand prayer or seance moment we can have? What do we gotta do here? Wow, oh, I mean, you could say a Maori kia kaha. It's kind of like go hard. Okay, you say it for me. Kia kaha. Louder. Kia kaha. Yeah! <laughs> okay, there it is. Come on, Tanya, something tight. Oh my God, is she dialed? Oh! Right on the edge of the circle. Okay. Shot. Nothing inside the circle yet, but we're close. Come on, give us a good one here. There it is. There it is. There it is! That is literally seven inches from the pin. Nice, nice shot. Woo! Let's see if we can spot these guys. If they're on this hole yet. Do we see them anymore? All right, I got an idea. What a good spot. If they're gonna stop anywhere, it's gonna be right here. Oh yeah, there's our group, there's our group. I don't know how I feel if I were playing and teeing off and there was this guy in the bushes just being like, hey, they're on like this hole. <laughs> they're playing about this fast. <laughs> um, I got a Zoom call I gotta do real quick. Actually, why don't you give me like 20, 25 minutes? I'll be back, all right? Our group's just teeing off on nine. Looks like they're gonna play right around a two hour nine holes. Oh, I felt good about that. I really thought they were on about 15 and I was like, we have, we have to do something in like 20 minutes. Where did you say the bathroom was? It's time. I've needed to pee, but I haven't, I haven't gone because we're, I thought we were running out of time a lot. This is a thing, an ace race that you have to deal with, potty breaks. Tanya right now, is heading to the bathroom. Meanwhile, Tanya's got one in the circle and it's time to kind of get dialed in. We are here live just outside the world-class Phoenician Athletic Club as our ace race foursome has just made the turn in a blistering two hours, two minutes, and the clock is ticking. Okay. Guys, we've officially made the turn and balls are in the air on 10. The clock is ticking. They're on 10? They just teed off at 10. Balls oh, in the air on 10. Okay, so we started off trying to warm up and then like finesse shots and now we're just gonna start pounding them, I'm pretty sure. Hey, are you guys anybody getting close there on 17? Tanya's got one in the circle. I mean, that's like a check mark right there. I will tell you, I've watched about 12 hollow mm -hmm. ones go in ever and I think only one of them has been an actual good shot, so. Right. That makes <laughs> so, me I mean, feel good. So. That makes me feel good. Bucket number three. Oh, that looks good. Oh. Coming back towards the hole. Ah, oh, stuck past the hole. That's gotta be it. That looks good. With good spin. Come back. You just missed that hole in one by a couple cups. Oh. Can you ask him to like, Kiss the pen for us or something. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's been blessed. Oh, it just needed a kiss. Go in. Come back. Oh, that's so good. Go. Yeah. The club. Go. Yeah. Go. That was right at it. Oh. There it is. That's a hole in one, folks. Work in there. Come back. There's like four feet. There's like a force field around it. That's got to be it. It's really good distance, probably. Tango Bravo, Tango Bravo. We're at the two hour 30 mark. Our group is just teeing off on 13. Ooh, shit. They got that fast. Hey, my bad, dude. They're on 12. We're set up on 13. I got confused there for a sec, so we got a little bit more time. Are you worried about Doug at all? Doug? Yeah. So we're back behind the 13th green, waiting for our foursome to tee off. This is a great opportunity to search the out of bounds area for some Pro V1s. Phoenician's kind of a higher end golf course, so there should be some nice pearls out here somewhere. But it is rattlesnake season, so gotta be a little bit careful while you're out here. It's worth it if I can find a couple nice pearls up here. Guys, the group is off the tee on 14. Oh no, we have two holes. Wow, celebrity shot. 
Ryan McKay, three balls, let's go. We need the help. This is the director of golf. And he's our shag man, radio man. Not hitting his clubs, no glove. I'd say that's respectable. I mean, come on, let's be honest. <laughs> this is a good warm up. We're gonna try to skip some across the pond too. Can we go? There it is. Come on, right there up. There it home. is. Where's that? Oh, man, that is inside the circle. You got uh, probably two feet. Oh, oh that's two feet. Give me some. Give me some. Nice shot, T. I think you guys got 30 minutes max. I'll let you know when we're seeing off on 16. Come on, stay. Go in the hole. Or spin, or something. That is another one inside the circle. It just hit and stopped right there. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay. <laughs> oh. Really good line, just a little bit short. Come on, Ryan, put it left with that mark. That That's looks left good. of it. Guys, the group is on 15 green. Oh, gee, this is so stressful. <laughs> and that one's in the hole. I like that. Oh, go in. That was tracking in. That is literally two feet away in the circle again. Woo! You are the circle now. Keep going. Come on. Oh, my God. Get the right run. Get the right go. run. Get the right run. That is another one inside the circle. It just hit and stopped right there. All right, groups approaching 16 T. Approaching 16 T. Oh my gosh, T, I can see him on the T of 16. That's uh, awesome. Uh, be the club. Be the club. Go in. Oh. It's close. At three hours and 30 minutes, we're off the T on 16, heading right to you guys. All right, we got a full hole here. Could go in. Oh. All right, we're in view of you guys. We're in view. Everything's fine right now. Be the right distance. Go in. That's from back. Just past the circle, probably a four-footer. All right, last couple shots. Do something big. Do something big, Ryan. Oh, that looks good. Dunk it. Come back. Come oh back. Come back. Come back. Oh. Right by the hole. Oh. oh. Oh, it's on the oh circle? My gosh. Was that the closest one to going in, that last one by me, or no? Damn, that one looked that one looked good. Uh, Ian told me that the yellow one rolled right over the hole, basically. That one looks so good. I thought it was gonna go in. Alright, we'll probably inside six, seven minutes, guys. This is it. <laughs> oh CTA oh. five minutes. We're running out of time. The ace race is real. Oh, it's at it. That is right over the flag. Flag stick in the hole. Here they come. Oh my gosh, that was long. All right, they're on you. And look who's arrived. Go in. No. Are you kidding me? You guys were the group that pressured us. Doug, really quick, tell me, like, what's up? So actually, these guys played quick. So from, from tee off to right here, three hours, 40 minutes. So that was pretty good. You guys were playing a nice pace. Eight drinks apiece. Yeah, nice pace. <laughs> Their pace of play was great for Troon, but it hurt the hell out of us. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know you didn't even know what was going on, but yeah. You guys just crushed Ace Race. Cheers. Well, Ryan, I was proud of you today. You were the closest to making a hole in one today with a lip out. Tanya, I believe, had four, maybe five inside the circle. I feel a little defeated. <laughs> like, honestly, I really had high hopes going in. I really thought one of us was going to get a hole in one, but that is so much harder. That's one of the hardest things I've done in golf, probably. You're either going to leave with a great taste in your mouth or bitter. And right now, I'm bitter. But hey, at the end of the day, you had more in the circle. You just won the Phoenician Five Diamond Package. It's a one night stay for two, two 50 minute spa treatments at the Phoenician Spa, dinner for two at the J&G Steakhouse, and a bunch of resort credit to spend at the Phoenician Golf Shop. Congratulations. Where do we go to next? I mean, I personally have a few ideas, but maybe we should let you guys pick. Tell us in the comments below where we should have our next ace race. Remember, you can't put us on the par three hole four. It's gonna be the last par three on a course, pretty much anywhere, honestly. 
until the next ace race, we're out of here. Okay, Tony, seriously though, um, what did we do wrong? That pen ended up being in a tough spot. Like, we didn't have really any help. I feel like we had to almost dunk it.